big cliche. G'day, folks, and welcome to my next episode of Talibrex Ultimate Skyblock Survival Island. Yeah. I'm starting in this close-up because I just want to give you guys a quick reminder of how I left the island last episode. And as I turn around... Uh, I just want to quickly say before I look down, because I've just built myself a, uh, a podium about 20, 30 blocks high off of my uh, my starting point, uh, that I have done days and days and days and days and days and days and days worth of cobble farming and cobble smelting and stone brick making and stone brick slab making to, I actually don't even know which direction I'm facing now, uh, to bring you... Ta-da! Oh, there's a witch. Damn it! Always. Uh, this is the ground floor. You can see the piece of bedrock just there. This is the ground floor that I am starting uh, with a kind of map out of my house. The the, uh, the blueprint, the map that I showed you guys in episode one. This will be the plan out for the positioning of where it will be. I'm going to have a nice fountain in there. How's this? How's it a bit fancy? Let's go and kill this bitch. Uh, just to let you guys know, if you think anything is odd or unusual for the moment, um, fall damage, etc., uh, death dealing besides cacti and mobs, um, has been uh, turned off slash broken. So, yes, I can do the jumpingness. You die now. Die, 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 die. Die with my stone sword. You evil bitch. Just die already. She doesn't want to die. You and your stupid nose. Oh, there we go. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. oh come on. Wow. That was a witch glitch. <laughs> so, yes, this is the plan now. I'm going to have two double doors. There'll probably be a, a little staircase that will go up, so this will be up a couple of levels anyway. This will be my main foyer entrance. There's going to be a staircase there and there's going to be a staircase there and you come in through and this will be an epic glass domey bit that's going to overlook here. Anyway, we'll get into that later. What I did want to do in today's episode though is just show you in all this time that I've been legitimately, and I have, I mean I, I don't, I'm not OP on this server, uh, I have legitimately farmed all of the cobble to make these stone slabs. Uh, I've also been doing a few of the dungeons you guys might have seen, the library dungeon that I did, and also the pirate dungeon, um, and probably, uh, depending on which order I upload these in, you would have seen the warehouse dungeon as well. So I get the loots. Uh, there's some freebie loots um, that are hidden around the server too. So let's just have a look at what I've got so far. This is, look at this, a stack of 64 and 31 bottles O oh, enchanting. I got it, actually I got a diamond from voting. Um, horse arm is another story, thank you IMAC. Uh, and so is the very da uh, damaged anvil. Um, so yes, I've gotten some podzel. And where is the, oh no, I'll show you that later. I built the, uh, I built the sticky pieces myself. I have, uh, I have had to keep up with a bit of farming just so I don't starve. But zombie spawn eggs, skeleton spawn eggs. Again, I make, yes, I, that, thank you. Uh, but I did complete a medium level dungeon yesterday with the help from a bunch of my friends here on the server to get a mushroom egg. So that's going to start off my farm as well. Um, just the tree bits from here, but check out all the mob drops. That's cray cray. There we go. That's iMech too. I got a, it's a triple shout out to iMech because he is an Aussie. So um, yeah, it's it's um, it, it's solidarity, brother. Solidarity, you know. All right. So this is going to be my house. I think it's going to be quite sexy. Uh, at the blue as the blueprints showed. Oh, that was the podium I was on. Uh, it was only two levels. I only showed you one level of them, but yeah, I'm, it's it's probably going to be taller than that. Now, what I also have done, you'll notice a couple of trapdoors here. One with water, uh, I needed to build this little um, posty bit down. But I have transferred my endless water supply, supply? endless water supply, and my double sided cobble mining thingy bit to here. Uh, this is on level, my level of uh, 135. I've done that because it's 15 levels below. Uh, that being 151 up there. This will eventually be a tree farm down here. So I've left 16 blocks. 
so I do get some jungle trees growing. The next level down is another 15 blocks lower and this will be the start. I'm going to do an automatic mushroom farm so I've just popped some mushrooms here as, a, uh, as an indication that this will be the mushroom level. Now I'll give you a link to the automatic mushroom farm that I am going to use. It's from Paul Suarez Jr. who was one of the first YouTubers I ever watched and he did the Survive and Thrive series that actually really helped me out when I first started playing Minecraft just over a year ago. Uh, so I'll, I'll give all credits to Paul Suarez Jr. for the design, which I don't know if it's his originally, but he did a really good video on it. Um, so yes, that's what I'm going to do. And let me just have a normal. Now I haven't decided what the rest of the levels are going to be, but as you see, there we go. Y is 110. I'm going to build them down uh, from besides those two, which are 15 apart. All the rest of them will be 10 apart. There'll be chest rooms and it actually goes down to... to the darkness. I've actually been able to uh, ride the water down and place, these are actually all, all slabs because I made them before I, um, yeah, I, I, I used it. Um, I've been able to ride the water down to place the slabs. So I'm going to actually do a quick ele water elevator up as well, which will have an entrance on all the floors. Doesn't that look really cool? My hexagonal top floor island. I don't even know if that there may be uh, there may be floors above it. So let me just go back up to the top. So what I do want to do today, and I'm going to do it in a time lapse, is start building my house. At least get the ground level going. Uh, so to do that, I do want to use old oak wood. I like the um, I like the darker style of wood for that one. So I'm going to place a couple of two by two bits of dirt around to get some old oak growing while I'm using the resources and planting because as you'll see in this top chest here there we have spruce but I have do have a little bit of a start of some old oak there's 13 there that's not really going to help uh, I'm going to use the pot tool. where's the dirt? there we go so let's start doing this shall we Alright folks, so that's not too shabby a start there. Got some dark oak pillars in and I really do love the parquet floor style. I'm going to fill that area with the parquet floor as well. Keep the hallways in spruce, both there and the little one over there. And maybe even just switch it up with some carpet in the rooms and, and all sorts. So let's just see how far I get in the next however long. I'm still kind of winging it. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do or where things are going to be placed except I do know about the staircases there and there and that will be glass area there. Um, but yeah, I think this is coming along nicely. And here we have the semi-final product of the ground floor of my masterpiece house. Actually, it looks really good with the trees around as well, but they're only there temporarily, I think, until I can plan out the landscaping as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this episode today as much as I've enjoyed doing it. <laughs> Just before I go though, folks, as I always say, don't forget to say good day to your neighbour.